Betty Page is one of the most famous models of the 50s. The blue-eyed brunette repeatedly starred in the genres of pinup and erotica and quickly won the title of U.S. sex symbol. Many historians believe that it was she who became the instigator of the American sexual revolution that swept the country in the early 60s. The fame of Betty Page haunts today's beauties, and many of them try to imitate the style of the famous model. A native of Nashville, Tennessee, Page lived in California during her early adulthood before moving to New York City to pursue work as an actress. There she found work as a pinup model and posed for dozens of photographers throughout the 1950s. Page was Miss January 1955, one of Playboy magazine's first Playmates of the Month. After years of obscurity, she experienced a resurgence in popularity in the 1980s. In 1959, Page converted to evangelical Christianity and worked for Billy Graham while studying at Bible colleges in Los Angeles and Portland, Oregon, with the intention of becoming a missionary. In late 1947, Page moved to New York City, where she hoped to find work as an actress. Within days, she became the victim of a sexual assault by a group of men and retreated home to Nashville, where she briefly worked for local railroad service. Within weeks, she returned to New York, becoming secretary to a real estate developer and an insurance broker who shared offices in the Eastern Airlines building at Rockefeller Plaza. In 1950, while walking along the Coney Island shore, Betty met NYPD officer Jerry Tibbs, who was an avid photographer, and he gave Betty his card. He suggested she would be a good pinup model. In exchange for allowing him to photograph her, he would help make up her first pinup portfolio free of charge. Tibbs suggested to Betty that she style her hair with bangs in front to keep light from reflecting off her high forehead when being photographed. Bangs soon became an integral part of her distinctive look. In 1954, during one of her annual vacations to Miami, Florida, Page met photographers Ian Caldwell, H.W. Hanau, and Bunny Yeager. At the time, Page was the top pinup model in New York. Yeager, a former model and aspiring photographer signed Page to a photo shoot at the now-closed Africa USA Wildlife Park in Boca Raton, Florida. The Jungle Betty photos from this photo shoot are some of the most famous. They include nude footage of a pair of cheetahs named Moja and Mbili. Page made the leopard print Jungle Girl outfit she wore, as well as most of her underwear. After Jaeger sent photographs of Page to Playboy founder Hugh Hefner, he selected one to be used as a Playmate of the Month spread in the magazine's two-year-old January 1955 issue. In the famous photo, Page, wearing only a Santa hat, kneels in front of a Christmas tree holding an ornament and playfully winks at the camera. In 1955, Page won the Miss Pinup World title. She also became known as the Queen of Curves, and Dark Angel. While pinup and glamour modeling careers are often measured in months, Paige was in demand for several years, continuing to model until 1957. Paige's reasons for leaving modeling vary. Some reports have cited Kefauver's hearings before the U.S. Senate Select Committee on Crimes in Interstate Commerce after a young man apparently died during a bondage session rumored to have been inspired by images involving Page as a potential cause. After leaving modeling, Page converted to Christianity and became a born-again evangelist on December 31, 1959, while living in Key West, Florida. In 1998, she recalled, When I gave my life to the Lord, I began to think that He didn't approve of all these nude photos of me. In the 1960s, she attempted to become a Christian missionary in Africa but was rejected due to divorce. She worked for various Christian organizations over the next few years before settling in Nashville in 1963 and re-enrolling at Peabody College to earn a master's degree in education, but eventually dropped out. In October 1978, she moved to Southern California. There she had a nervous breakdown and quarreled with her landlady. Doctors who examined her diagnosed her with acute schizophrenia and she spent 20 months at Patton State Hospital in San Bernardino, California. 
After a fight with another homeowner, she was arrested for assault, but found not guilty by reason of insanity and placed on state supervision for eight years. She was released in 1992. According to longtime friend and business agent Mark Rosler, Page was hospitalized in critical condition on December 6, 2008. The Associated Press quoted Rosler as saying, Page had suffered a heart attack, and Los Angeles station KNBC said Page had pneumonia. Her family eventually agreed to remove life support, and she died on December 11, 2008, at the age of 85. That's all for me. But before I conclude, I invite you to enjoy this amazing collection of photographs of Betty Page. Let's spend this last moment together in the whirlwind of her unique era. Look further and give this great staff a chance to come alive before your eyes. Enjoy your viewing.